Director Moody, thank you so much for, for being here with us today and having the opportunity to experience um, and be with these wonderful practitioners um, as well. And thank you and Governor Kasich for the support that you're showing autism and, and, and all individuals and families uh, with developmental disabilities as well. So thank you again. So this is a, uh, a real fun opportunity for, for me and uh, for Dr. Anderson to recognize someone who thinks she's here to give an update on Ohio. Um, <laughs> we are we're here to present to Barb Yavorsik, um, O'Calley's Advisory Board Chair since our inception, uh, a Lifetime Achievement Award. This award honors a single individual for her lifetime contribution to enriching the lives of individuals with disabilities. This award embraces the values of inclusion, collaboration, and advocacy. And so, thankfully, Barb did not know, and we were able to keep the secret from her. Um, but if you think about those three words, inclusion, collaboration, and advocacy, it's really been Barb's life. Um, Barb has been traveling from Toledo uh, since I met her in 2005 putting in uh, countless hours, all of her time, um, to move forward uh, this, you know, this great cause and, and, and move forward and advocate for the families and the individuals. Um, her son, uh, Michael, she's been advocating for Michael for, for many, many years, um, and all the families, and just is at the heart of uh, our first um, Lifetime Achievement Award that, that we're we're giving from O'Calley. And Dr. Anderson had a few words to say as well, and then Representative Peterson was also going to take the stage. Just briefly, no one embodies, uh, as Sean uh, reminds us, the type of work that Barb has done, not just for individuals with autism, but individuals with any disability. Uh, Barb is an individual who's this, this award is absolutely perfect for. Not only is it a Lifetime Achievement Award, Barb, but it's certainly an achievement award worthy of your recognition of Ocali, but this conference wouldn't be possible and Ocali wouldn't be possible without the leadership you've given. So please accept uh, this and John. Wait one sec. It's been my experience, Barb, that you will get the microphone. <laughs> you know, um, amen. And uh, you know, my other uh, calling on, on Sunday mornings, uh, sometimes uh, I quote scripture that says, greater love hath uh, no person than to give their lives for others. And that's what Barb uh, has done. And so uh, what an appropriate recognition uh, here uh, today. Uh, we first uh, became uh, partners uh, back in 2004 as we uh, forged the Ohio Autism Task Force uh, and traveled the state uh, hearing from professionals, parents, um, educators, others about what's important uh, in terms of services for those uh, with autism. One of those recommendations was to form the Ohio Center for Autism, OCALI. And, and so Barb has been there uh, from the very beginning um, with a heart as big as Texas. Uh, is Texas represented here today? Yes, they are. Okay. Um, I have uh, many uh, heroes, uh, I guess, but two of them are, are here in the room today, uh, Sandra Williams and Barb Yvorchak. So Barb, I um, add my name to the ever-growing list of um, those uh, in the chorus that echo your praises, because this is um, 
perhaps just the smallest of rewards for your hard work, uh, which I know isn't finished yet. Uh, we've got plenty more work to do. So congratulations, Barb, on, on a significant award. And uh, Representative Peterson said it well. This wouldn't be um, uh, complete. Barb has been a partner, has been by my side uh, since 2005 when we formed the advisory board. And uh, in moving forward, you know, the starting point, we, it was a blank slate and we had to, to put a lot on that, on that slate. And we have done that to this day. And so I think the completion of the awards also, or of the recommendations and moving those forwards, as Representative Peterson said, uh, we're not done yet. But today would not be complete if the person who inspired her from the beginning was not here to share this moment with her. So Michael has come to join us and is, is here with us today. Thank you, Sean. My name is Michael Yavorsik, and I want to say a few words about my mom, Barb. She has been involved with autism organizations since my autism diagnosis. When I was younger, I went to Ottawa Hills School, which I could walk to. Kids with special needs used to get bused to Washington local schools but my mom and some other parents worked with the school people to make sure kids like me would be able to attend our neighborhood school. Ottawa Hills is one of the best schools in the state and I was proud to graduate, proud to graduate from there in 2007. <sighs> mom helped me with my math homework. She's an engineer and she is good at it. She also went to IEP meetings to make sure I was doing okay in school. She also made sure I had a good paraprofessional every year. Even when mom was busy with two jobs, she still packed a lunch for me when I go to work and make sure I have transportation if my parents can't drive me to work. I have a good job as a bagger at Kroger. I was voted most dependable male worker at my store. Mom taught, taught me a lot of stuff about how important it is to be reliable. In conclusion, I want to say that I'm proud of my mom for what she has done to help me and other kids with autism in Ohio. Thank you. Gosh, how do I follow that? Okay, this was a really a complete surprise, as you can probably tell. And I, you know, and I worked really hard on this speech, too. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's been an honor and a privilege to, you know, advocate on behalf of individuals with autism. And, and now that you've met my son, you know what my inspiration was. And I've been very lucky to have um, a family that has supported the time and the energy that I've put in to, into advocating for individuals with autism. And I'm, I'm really kind of just speechless. This is amazing and wonderful. Um, and I've been lucky enough to be able to do this. And, and I'm proud of how far Ohio has come. But we, uh, John's right, we do have more work to do. And so hopefully there are folks out there that will be uh, willing to take up the baton and take up the work because it, 
no one person can do it all, and we all have to work together to improve supports and services for individuals and families in Ohio uh, that are dealing with autism. So, you know, you guys are a, a big inspiration for me as well. Thank you so much to Sean, to all the folks at Ocali. Um, it's been a pleasure to serve uh, as chair of the advisory board since its inception. So, thank you so much, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.